Hey there, welcome to the Junk Shack, baby. My name is Kathy. In today's video, I'm going to paint what I use as a coffee table with a really cool, easy to do technique. And we're also gonna learn a little bit about games. Some from me, my favorites, and a little bit from my favorite little four-year-old grandson. When I was much younger, my brother had a group of friends and we all played spades. We inherited this table from my husband's grandfather. He made it and it's a really sturdy, cool little kind of, I've always used it as a side table, sometimes a coffee table if it's a little spot. Painted it a couple of years ago. It says just believe on it at the time. I was trying to just believe in something. Well, now it's time to give it an update. I'm going to begin with the DIY paint in Farm Fresh. There was a couple of years before my husband and I got married that we played Risk all the time. We were trying to save our money. I don't remember what was going on. He was in college and we were saving every penny and we would play Risk every single night. My favorite board game is Monopoly. I really like Scrabble. Rummy or Gin Rummy is another very much favorite game of mine and usually most people know how to play it. little black dress. My favorite card game, which I have quite a few, but my most favorite is Hold'em Poker. I've been playing poker online for probably 15 years, maybe even longer. There was a moment in my life when I thought, man, I could be a professional poker player. Kind of like for, I don't know, people who live in Vegas or something. Ever since I was knee high to a grasshopper, the people on my mom's side, uh, the family down there, the, we call them the family in the country, they always played pinnacle. That was a hot game down there. I never was old enough to play, and by the time I got old enough, I didn't go down there as much, but I would love to learn the aspects of that game. I played girls fast pitch baseball for about 10 years all through school and until I was about, I don't know, 20. And then after that, I played women's slow pitch softball for probably, I don't know, off and on three or four years. Um, all of that game playing has given me a true love for baseball. Go Cardinals! daughter gave me card is it is it cards against humanity I think it is um, it's a pretty severe game it is not for children uh, it can get disgusting sometimes but maybe that's why I love it so much I am always down for a game of dominoes And now, Bohemian Blue. Checkers, anyone? If you don't have a partner, then I suggest Solitaire.
I like backgammon, particularly AC Doocy. Apple Storanges. It's kind of like Cards Against Humanity, except for the whole family. Okay? Okay. There's only pigmen, zombies, and you know, like a lot of skeletons, creepers, it's they are green, they explode, there's mods in Minecraft, animal bombs, and a lamb that actually has like spooky swings, a super creeper, a tree guy. You look at when you look at him on his face. I thought I'd share with you my grandson's running dialogue the whole time I buff the wax off this little beast. It's hilarious. And Minecraft is his favorite game. When you look down as facing survival, he'll attack you. But more Wonderman, they are weepy. They're black, they have pink eyes. And when you look at them, their mouth opens, just like the wood ones, but the wood ones aren't that scary like that, because it will be brown inside. But the Enderman, the, but the normal Enderman, they're spooky. When you look at them, their mouth opens like, <sighs> But the only way to open up their mouth is in creative, like, as you need I'm going. Looking at Enderman, then they open your mouth at time, no one. But then you know there are mutants in Minecraft. So, mutant creeper first. This one will be a little bit spooky. Okay. So he still has four eggs, but they're right. And he has a hey, a animal body like this. And he has a vulture head and he has wood eyes. Does he sound spooky? He does. But the mutant Enderman, he has long claws and when you look at him, he's like. <laughs> but next mutant, this mutant, it is a spider mutant. Which spider mutants have pig heads and they have spider arm or um, spider body and spider arms and spider back feet. Is that so no? I mean pig back feet. Spider arms and pig back feet. Yep. Yeah, spider arms, spider uh, a body and pig head and also it has pig legs on the back. Does that sound a little bit weird? It does. It sounds really weird to me. Uh, All of this is in Minecraft? There's one there. Mobs are getting bigger, bigger, bigger until they're strong. If they get, but they get stronger when they get bigger. And then, but when they're done growing, that when they're done growing, they look humongous that they're going to destroy your, that they're going to dig, like dig, 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 out of hand to break the bedrock. The bedrock is the end of the Minecraft world. Guess what? What a great lesson. Or, there's one dragon and not a Minecraft mom. It is the Ender Dragon. He is an Enderman kind of dragon, and Enderman was there. Did I mention Yahtzee? If not, Yahtzee.
if you stuck around till the end of this video. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, a big thumbs up and make me know it. I hope you all have a great day. Stay safe out there.